It's so cold that I can faintly see the steam come off my mouth as I talk, which is like my favourite simile in the entire world, so that put me in the perfect mood to have a chat about. <laughs> The moment that the flute enters on playing at the end of the universe, my heart feels like it's blossoming into fireflies that illuminate my ribcage like a lantern, feeling inspired and bright for the next 47 minutes to follow. Orchestra Universe is an entrancing live performance that is classified as post-minimalism and maloya, the latter of which I'm more interested to discover more about given its history and the specific instrumentation attributed to it, but you don't need to be familiar with terms and timbres, just turn this in tango. The music is reminiscent of a genre that represents a particular location in history but the actual result sounds global in reaching to touch hearts wherever on earth you are. Each movement is just a smoothly fleeting one. I'm sure you could pick up on all the little bells and whistles if you paid attention to them, but they're so naturally part of the flow that it doesn't just feel like extra baggage for no reason. With its repetitive structures reminiscent of the best minimalist music, it's easy to compare this to Steve Reich, but marimbas aside, I'd also justify that comparison aesthetically, simply because of how lightweight and airborne so much of it sounds, butterflies in the stomach, or those splinters of light that crackle from a big bonfire. It reminds me of those in its most fluttery moments. Elsewhere, its percussion batters polyrhythmically like tribal drums during a ritual, where the very insides of your soul are being stirred around and around like a big soup pot. Soul introspection is the third track, and already it feels like your perspective on the world is shifting in a really unsettling but exciting way. <coughs> Ayahuasca. <coughs> Then when the church organ seeps in for Oubli Voix Espace Dimension, the record finds itself in its most tense moments, in the sense that you're anticipating something huge incoming. For something titled The Universal Orchestra, it really does sound as if this musical piece is expanding the more that you let it continue. There's a lot to take in, and none of it is even daunting. It naturally glides and churns and zooms out to gradually reveal more of the scope of the world, so that by the time that the final track gently breathes its way out, you're kind of sad that it's over, which makes it convenient that they decided to throw a full one-track version of the recording right after it. It's as if they read your mind. Well, if that wasn't an 8 out of 10, I don't know what else could be. Maybe the new future EP, but you're not ready for that one. <laughs>